Welcome to our preview of Metropix Mobile, now available on an iPad. Once you've installed the app from the App Store, you can log in and get started from the pad itself. Once you arrive, you'll need to press the Create New Floor Plan button in orange at the top of the main bar, at which point you'll be asked to enter the address of the property that you're going to work on now. So just quickly do so and then tap Create Plan on the right. From here, you can press Add Room on the top left-hand corner, then touch and drag with your finger to create the shape of the first room. So Add Room, touch on the screen and then drag out, just like you would with the mouse for the desktop Metropix users that have used before. So touch and drag, you'll be asked to label the room every time that you add one to the plan. Again, just like the desktop, I want to add one more room, pop in a utility at the back, and there we are. You can also have in-wall features now, so if you tap onto a wall, you'll see the options that appear. So to split a wall, or add a curve, um, if you select a wall, and then press split wall, it makes a break. So that's just like double-clicking on the desktop version you can then drag either side, it creates that dot on the wall. So if you want a nail shape, that's exactly how you do it. All of the symbols are on the left hand side, they work on a drag and drop basis. You'll see the main section right on the left with a little arrow just to the side. You can scroll left and right to choose different symbols. If you then drag further symbols on, so it's just tap and hold, slide them on, you can move them up and down, move them in and out of the room for the swing direction as well. Just going to move that wall up and we'll pop another door into the kitchen there. And just some doubles to the back of the dining room. And let's say it's an opening between the kitchen and dining room. Just drag on the opening symbol and increase the, the gap there. So there's our doors. Moving on to windows. Only one symbol for the window, so nice and easy. Tap onto it and you can tap the wall again once it's on the plan to create a different size just made a few breaks there and you can see we can drag the middle section down to make a bay effect. If it's a straight bay, great, but what you can do is take the dots in the corners as well. If you tap and hold to drag those inwards, you'll see it creates an angle for you as well. And the windows will then slide directly on top of that also. And there we are. Next, you'd like to look at the fitted items. So fireplace is a good example where there is one. It's always nice to show. Put one on there. Uh, and then in the kitchen, we've got the base unit option. So we can drag and slide that on there. Adjust the size or pop another one. They just merge to become one, one corner shape once you've added. Just pop a sink on there and then a hob to the side as well. All of the symbols work in the same way. And we'll just pop in one more unit to the bottom of the kitchen as well. And for the utility, we'll put another unit in there perhaps and uh, a sink to go alongside as well. You can really get specific sizes on there. You can key in the ex exact centimetre that you need for the length and width of any symbol. And there's our sink as well. This takes us to stairs, which have been dramatically changed. They're now just a symbol. So we've just clicked the stairs option at the top of the page. And we're then dragging on the stairs. So before you used to have to add the ground to the first floor, do it in one go, lots of questions. Now it's just treated like a symbol. So you can slide any of these stairs shown, drag them on just like a symbol, resize them, flip them as you need, just tap on them to get the options and there's our first section. We've also got up and down arrows so you can signal which way up and, and down are on the stairs should you want to. Also the plain arrow can be used to represent an access point or, or a doorway perhaps on an apartment with a communal hallway. You could show the access point to the property there. So do use that as needed. Now we're going to go to floors and move up. So we add floor above. This takes us to the first floor. Again, like the desktop, we've got the ground floor in the blue outline. So we can then tap and hold to drag the shape of the first room. So let's go with the landing here. 
and there we are. Stairs again will be added. Um, we then tap stairs, you have the options once more, so let's say it's an L-shaped staircase. We'll drag on and a set of L's. We can then decrease the length or extend as we need to. The width can also be adjusted. I'm just tapping the minus arrow on the left to bring it down accordingly. And there we are. That's all there is to it. Add some more rooms. We'll pop in a bedroom here. Call it bedroom one. Drag that out. Add another room. Tap and hold. We'll make that a walk-in wardrobe. And there we are. Just a door to that space. You can change the inside by tapping the door. And then some windows as well. slide in an ensuite in the bottom corner so you can add a room within a room we've drawn the bathroom first we then add the ensuite within you don't need to create funny shapes just draw that ensuite within the existing room so there's our shower we can adjust the size as needed and pop in a sink as well and there we are we can move walls just by sliding it so I'll add in another room, we'll call this bedroom 2. Just slide in our door. And let's say this has a, a curve wall, so we tap on the wall, we can create the section and then add a curve. That's option on the main section there. It then creates the curve which you then touch and just drag. Tap and slide that up and down to create your curve shapes, are really easy and then the windows will fit directly on top as well. You can extend them to fit that curve automatically. So pop in another room there. Let's say it's an L shape, we double click, or, or sorry, tap onto the wall, split the wall and slide the section out. We can add our windows and then our items within the bathroom as well. If you go to more symbols at the bottom you can select bathroom everything's in room order and you'll see you get a lot more choice now to play with if we return to the normal symbol view we get our doors and windows again and there's our door to finish We can tap the compass on the top right hand corner, tapping it on and tapping it off. Once it's on, you can spin it 360 degrees, so you can represent which way north is. And then you just hit the tick when you're ready on the top right hand corner to move on. Here's a preview of the plan, so you can slide across however many floors you have, you can slide them right the way through. Um, and this is a chance to adjust the plan, so now I'm going to drag the entrance hall label, move it to a more central position. I can tap it and then adjust the font size as well to make that bigger. So now you have absolute control of your floor plan. So the lounge label, let's, let's centralize that, slide that down. Uh, dining room, just gonna increase that one slightly as well. So you can see the font size being adjusted. Um, utility, probably want to increase that as well. Now the plans all process fine, but just gives you that extra control if you want to adjust. And then in the floor area, I'm allowed to change the floor area for the ground floor only. So I have done here and it adjusts the total floor area slightly as well so it, it does count up for you. That's an option. You can tap on that box and delete the floor area if you want to from the individual floors. It's going to move those around again, show you the, the freedom we have. En suite, I might not want the measurements. Likewise the landing, you tap it, show measurement off and that takes it away for you. Just move the bathroom, get that label in a more suitable position. Sometimes the symbols naturally take their, their place. You need to just adjust for the labels to fit. Um, so there's our preview. We can tidy up the measurements. We'll, we'll do that one in the entrance hall. We'll take that off as well. And now, if we go to plan layout, here is a chance to adjust the floor plan itself. So you can, the, the gray space represents your printout that you're going to get. So you can make it more compact so to have a better fit. You can move the compass and the disclaimer around, as well as the floors, so you can move those up and down. This is ideal for where you've got three or more floors, because you will sometimes need that extra control. You can zoom in and out to get a closer view. The zoom, closer you go, the more information or, 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 or the, the larger the information shown on the plan. Um, 
so you, there is a limit you, you'll get to feel how that works as well and I just hit the complete button the tick on the top right hand corner when I'm finished then we'll create a preview plan. This will go to the desktop account as well, so it, it will be available online when you log in as normal. And here is our finished floor plan. So we've got everything that we've added to the, the page itself. It will also appear in your Photos tab on your iPad, so you will automatically, as long as you're online, it will create the floor plan give you the file on your photos tab which you can then send back to the office send to a customer and it's yours so it gives you that extra freedom and by now using the app you'll be able to leave the property with the floor plan fully complete in hand and ready to go um, if you're not online then of course you can't send the plan through to our system and finalize it online you, you need the connection what you will be able to do is make the floor plan in full on your iPad itself save it to the iPad device separately when you're next online you'll be able to come through open the plan from the unfinished list and then complete it by clicking the tick on the top right hand corner that will then process and take you back to this very stage here that will then finalize the plan for you um, so that's everything really in terms of getting started and, and using the the app so we hope you you find it great to use and save you lots of time and we're supporting it fully within our support team as well so the number is 01184 672 800 or you can email us support at metropix.com and thank you very much for watching today